Hey everybody, I'm back with another video. So grab yourself a cold drink and let's get this on. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to your Freenos and go to your groups. Now you can create uh, another group. I've already created one called Everyone, but I'm going to do another one for this tutorial. I also created a uh, guest user but I'm also going to create another one just to show you guys how to do it. So first you add a group and you give it a name. You can call it anything you want, but in this case, I'm going to name it the family group. And I just click OK and then move on to the next step, which is adding your users. So now I'm going to go over to users and I'm going to click on add a user and that is going to be right here and then I'm going to type in a name that and once again you can put anything you want I'm gonna call it guest 2 my previous user was guest 1 um, and you have to uncheck mark the create a new primary group for this user and I'm going to select the family group as my group and then you can uh, select your or create your home directory now if you were to just click on the mount location that's not gonna work but I'm just showing you uh, what you shouldn't do or what you could do if you made a mistake you give it a name you can give it any name you can also say no password or you can give it a password so make it something that is hard to guess okay put that in there and once you've confirmed it everything else can remain default and that should work fine now you should also have to add your auxiliary groups in there and I put everyone and family I could have just done family but you know more is better now here's what I was talking about the uh, mount is not a location but the NAS is so once you do that and you select OK it'll accept it so now that it's done updating that and you have your group and you have your user you can now go into storage and create a data set and that's kind of what they the Unix or Linux in this case refers to as like your folder um, architecture so you can go in there and you can go into your storage volumes and you can actually click on an existing folder or create a new one underneath your mount point and uh, then all you have to do is create a new data set so when you selected a location you'll notice on the bottom that there are um, different options that you can do and I've created a data set and I'm gonna give it a name and I'm gonna call it family and then you can put in comments this is just for your use it's not really for the uh, for the use of the computer it's just so that you can tell who is it for um, and then you this is very important you want to select Windows as your share type because that is the type that needs to be uh, using the uh, uh, Windows authentication so when you start to map the drive that's going to be important So now that I've created my family data set, I can move on and change the permissions on it. So, you know, by default, it, it makes root the um, owner of everything. And you can change it from root to nobody. Now, first I selected guest, and guest was not the correct one. Um, because that is going to be my owner uh, for the user not the group so I went back in and I said okay let me change that to nobody and then I'm going to do the uh, group owner as the family so that's my group and once I hit change that should accept that And now under guest 2, I can go back to my home directory 
and I can actually, if I want to, click browse or I can leave it here. Um, either way, in Windows I could have found it, but I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go back and I'm going to select the um, share drive and then select my family folder that I created in my data set. Um, everything else should pretty much be the same except for auxiliary groups. You can you just make sure that those are listed as everyone and family or whatever you called them and click OK. And now that's been updated. So now we should be able to take this to the side and actually go into the Windows portion of the setup. Okay, now as you can see here, I, I had a previous shared drive on here and named it Z or, or uh, put the Z as the letter of the drive, but I'm going to map a new drive and I'm going to pick Y instead. And then you just have to put the path, which is the uh, forward slash forward slash, and then the 10 dot whatever, or whatever uh, IP address of your NAS is. And then you're going to see when you hit browse, all of the selections that you can pick from that are possible to map. And uh, I selected the family one. And then you have to say connect under different uh, credentials because this was created before uh, in Windows and now I'm going to say more choices and actually be able to modify that. So I'm going to put the guest 2 because that was the new user that I created and I'm going to put in the password that I uh, selected for that user and then uh, check mark remember my credentials because if you don't then next time you try to get in it's not going to be mapped and you're going to have to put in the logon and password again. Um, once you do that it's pretty much done. You can test it by just creating a folder if it allows you to write a new folder to it then you know you have permissions to read and write. So that is that. Now I'm going to go back in and I'm going to uh, recreate the other one since it's still listed there I'm just gonna say a different account again call it guest 2 again and then put in my password and say remember credentials again you click that and if everything worked then you should see it allow me in when I double click and there it is there's all my folders that I had uh, previously shared to the NAS and there you go. That's two drives under the same logon, but going to different locations. And you can and you can make them as uh, defined per user, or you can make them defined under just a, a group that you know everyone can get to the folders. So it's up to you guys. Okay, here we go. Final thoughts time. So that is just a basic tutorial on how to create a Windows Share. Once you do it a couple of times, it gets easier. I just shared the folders with everyone, but you can create more selective folders. A lot of people just want to share files and backup from all the PCs in the house. If you liked the video or found it helpful, click like. It helps the channel out. Please subscribe if you want to catch more tech videos, and much more. Anyway, that's my video. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get the tech out of here. Thanks again.